Hello everyone. This will be a quick tutorial on how to deploy existing Docker images to Cloud On. And this tutorial will be making use of Google Cloud Console, um, Google Cloud Shell, Google Cloud One also to deploy. We also have the image hosted on Google Container Registry, and we'll finally deploy um, a Ghost blog. So this is what Ghost looks like. Ghost is a free and open source blogging platform written in JavaScript. You can also have a self-hosted Ghost blog on your own server. Ghost has a Docker image too, which we would be using. And you can simply pull the Docker image using the commands docker pull ghost. And if you go through the documentation, you will find a few configurations. And you would notice that ghost listings on the port of 2368. So we'd have to put that into consideration too. Um, there are a lot of configurations here if you want to look into that much later. Um, we also make, make use of Google Cloud One, which is where we'll be deploying. Cloud One is a managed compute platform that enables you to run stateless containers, which automatically scales. And all it needs is just your Docker image to be deployed. Um, the next thing also we'll look at is container registry, which is basically a private container image registry that runs on Google Cloud and allows you host your Docker images. We would be running all of our commands on Cloud Shell. Cloud Shell is a free browser-based command interface for accessing and managing infrastructures on Google Cloud. Um, if you have not used Google Cloud before, I would also make use of um, the free tier, which is something you can get on your own. And the link to all of these tools and the free tier would be on the description below. So let's get started. Um, if you come over to Google Cloud Console, I have, I'm currently on Cloud One, and you can see this is what Cloud One looks like. It shows you all of the deployments you have. I have no service deployed at the moment. And what I want to do is to deploy the ghost blog using the Docker image. So I'm going to go back to Docker Hub. And I'm going to copy these commands, Docker pull ghost, which is how we're going to pull the ghost image from Docker Hub. And to show you where I want to save the image to, container registry, I'm going to click on container registry and images. So you can see I have no image at the moment. Um, I'm going to paste the commands on Cloud Shell. Cloud Shell is the command line terminal, and you can start it up from here, this terminal icon. So I'm going to paste Docker pull ghost, which is going to pull ghost for us. I think I already pulled that previously, which is why it's fast. And then what I need to do next is to tag my image. So you can see Docker images. I'm going to have um, the ghost image here. And then what I need to do next is to tag it. Um, So I just clear the command so you can have a clean terminal. And to tag the image, I'm going to use docker tag ghosts with this. So I'm going to tag this. And the next thing for me to do is to push the tagged image to GCR. So um, all you just need to do is to edit this and have docker push and the link to your image, which is basically gcr.io slash your project ID slash the name of the image you just tagged. The same ID you used to tag. So once I push this, it's basically going to push the image to Docker Hub. Um, I meant container registry rather. And we can refresh container registry to see so once it's done. And you can see we have the ghost image on container registry. And you can actually just click here and directly deploy. You can right click here and see deploy to Cloud One. But I would rather be doing it from Cloud One interface. So I'd go back here and click on Cloud One. And I can just click create service, which I would use. Um, so I can close this because I don't need terminal anymore. Um, I can use the GUI. So I'm going to select, I'm going to select the container image URL now, um, ghosts. And I'm going to pick the latest image I just have now. Um, I'm going with the default location, lower. And I can have the service name as ghost. I'm going to allow unedited invocations so anybody can make requests without having to be authenticated. And for more options, I am going to change the container ports to what Ghost uses. Um, so you can go back to Ghost check. So back to Ghost here, we can see it listings on two three six eight. I'm going to copy that and come back to Cloud One. I'm just going to paste that here. And I can scroll down to see so many other configurations, CPU allocated, memory allocated, and a few other things, right? You might want to also pass environment variables if you are doing database connections and stuff. 
I'm going to click create now. And within a few seconds, you would notice the service is going to be created. So our service just got deployed and you can actually click on the URL to have access to it. And you notice it's HTTPS enabled already. And you can see the whole um, interface of the Docker image we just deployed right now. And you can also see so many other things on Cloud Run, or you can see the logs of your applications. You can see more details, um, YAML, configuration that was used. You can also see permissions and a few other things. And if you also want to go further, um, you can deploy a new revision next time that has probably a newer image by clicking on container image and selecting a much newer image that you have. Um, you can change the configurations, add up environment variables as you wish. And one more thing that is quite useful is you can also map domains, right? So you can come to manage custom domains and basically map a domain to the service you have. So Cloud One is really useful. And all of this is serverless. You basically only pay for what you use. So if your sites don't get requests, as you can see here, it means you're not paying anything. And Cloud One also offers free requests per month. So you can check out that on the Cloud One documentation. Um, that's all for now. Um, other things you could explore is linking up a Cloud SQL instance to your image and stuff. Well, you can find a lot of that in documentation. Um, I'll be doing more tutorials on Cloud One in the future. But I hope this helps you out in case you want to deploy a Docker image from Docker Hub to Cloud One. Thanks.